Well, it was a recipe for success. Youthful exuberance, a very astute mentor, and a Miracle Mile winning owner. I refer to the win by Vaughan Duncan here on Tuesday afternoon. His first win, and it happened to be at Club and Angle. I caught up with Vaughan to congratulate him, and also talk through the win. Well, Vaughan, congratulations. What a way to bring up your first career win and doing it here at headquarters. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. As I mentioned in the introduction there, youthful exuberance. And one thing you've been telling me all along, the six weeks that you've been trying to get this win, you've been remaining patient. Yeah, you know, I've always been told that last one, the panic wins the race. So just keep going around, keep being patient. The win was going to come. Very astutely trained by Steph Morrison. The link between yourself and Steph, I know you're with the Penrith Mini Trotters organisation and Menangle here with Steph, but she still had some influence over your career in the Mini Trotters. Yeah, Steph's been a huge part of, you know, the way I've come up through the Mini Trots and, you know, she's always been there to help if there was any questions, so I couldn't thank her and Davey and all the owners group the, enough for the opportunity on the horse. That owner's group made plenty of noise over the final 200 metres. Yeah, it was real good to hear out in the track, you know, um, have some support kicking us home. And a special moment too, Vaughan, you've driven your first winner and one of the co-owners, a legend in the sport, Harry Martin, a Miracle Mile winner with a double identity. That was also a thrill for Harry. Yeah, you know, it was really cool having such a great um, supporter of the the sport like Harry Martin and, yeah, the owners, everyone. It was just such an honour. Let's talk through the race. The horse in question was Double Fear. You landed outside the leader. How was you thinking at that particular stage? I was pretty confident in the horse. You know, he's probably a genuine Saturday night horse and racing those Tuesday horses back in grade. I was pretty confident once we lobbed the chair and um, when the leader started dropping out around the cages, we just applied the pressure and kept going. Now that word patience comes into play here once again. You remained patient on the home turn when you hit the lead. What was your feeling then when you saw that winning post? But it's still a long way away. Yeah, I probably got a bit excited at the top of the straight, but um, I knew the horse was good enough, so just had to keep driving him all the way to the line. And 100 metres from home, you were home. Yeah, it was a pretty big thrill, like when the winning post was coming up, so I was really happy. As I mentioned, six weeks now into your career, you've driven your first winner at start number 36 for you. A lot of people will think, Brian Portelli in particular, he's been very kind putting you on a number of horses. Your grandfather, George Duncan, another, a lot of other trainers are now starting to come around. Yeah, you know, the support's been incredible. I couldn't do it without any, like, all these people helping me out. Brian Portelli and Poppy in particular, you know, they're huge supporters and want to teach me so much, so I couldn't be thankful enough. Now, speaking of Brian, you're driving 50 Shades Cresco for Brian Portelli here on Tuesday. Runner up on the past two starts, this grey mare is on the verge of a win. Can she go one better? Yeah, she's such an honest mare, you know, real great to drive. So I've been really lucky to hold the drive on her. So hopefully we can get into the money. Just as an open race, you wouldn't be surprised if any one of the runners greet the judge. You've drawn the middle of the line, so what do you do from there, Vaughan? Oh, I don't want to give too much away. You're showing a very cool head there, but certainly 50 Shades Cresco you would think would be very hard to beat. Oh, you know, she's a nice mare, and the speed's genuine. It'll suit her down to the ground, so hopefully the race is running her her standards and we can get over the top of them. Well, Vaughan, congratulations on your first win. Hopefully that's the first of many. Thanks, Mick. Appreciate it.